Two years ago, when the Montreal Canadiens made this pick in the sixth round, I labeled this pick as one of my favorites the team had ever made. Because, with their sixth round pick in the 2021 NHL entry draft, 191st overall, the Montreal Canadiens took a player who embodies that David versus Goliath sort of mentality. A guy who goes out there with crazy good work ethic, great offensive skill, and a whole bunch of potential to boot. Today I wanted to talk about Xavier Simoneau. Because, when we made the video talking about this guy, I said it was a fantastic pick back when the Canadians drafted him. That video got a lot of views, and I think a lot of y'all who were paying attention to the prospects, paying attention to whom the Canadians were bringing into their system, I think, based off of the reception of that video, a lot of y'all seemed to like this guy. So, what I wanted to do in this video was go over two years later, talk about where he has been, talk about his profile, talk about what we could see out of Simono heading into 2023-2024. Now, the biggest thing that you're going to notice about Simono is that he's actually pretty small. 5'6", 183, left-handed guy, center, born in May 2001. This means that he actually was eligible to being drafted in the 2019 NHL draft, but he had gotten passed over two drafts in a row. Now, point production aside, it's easy to see why a 5'6", 183-pound QMJHL center would not get drafted at 18 and 19 years old. No matter what the numbers are, this guy is just so small that you never really see guys ever get drafted in this range ever. For me personally, I've said this before, but I'm 5'3", so I kind of love it when smaller hockey players get attention and are actually good and are given opportunities. It's part of why I love the Cole Caulfield story so much. But for Xavier Simoneau, when he was draft eligible in 2018-19, he had 57 points in 55 games played for the Drummondville Voltigeurs. He was a very good player, but as we had said, he didn't get drafted because he's only 5'6". Back in this time frame, there were a bunch of videos on YouTube like Andy LaHue, NHL Draft Central's magnificent piece on Simoneau and how this guy was such an aggressive, forechecking, playmaking forward that had such a strong bite despite being so small. He was like that beige palm of the girl next door, you know? It's always super feisty, it's always super angry, even though it's small. That small little dog will go out there and rip your finger if you're not careful. And Xavier Simoneau played with that same sort of of bite. Even though he didn't get drafted in 2019, that was okay because there still was a very good profile for this guy. The next season, as an 18-year-old, he had an 89-point season in 61 games played, 28 goals, 61 assists. He was one of the top guys in the QMJHL for points, and that continued even further as he solidified his Drummondville Voltigeurs stint. The scouting report from Elite Prospects in their 2020 draft guide says this, Xavier Simoneau easily recognizes coverage assignments and contains bigger opponents on D-side. He can feather passes with both forehand and backhand just as proficiently. His speed improves with the usage of multiple crossovers. He's a high-energy forechecker, although he finishes his hits he doesn't need to, and he should look to use his stick more. Now, I don't know about you, but it's interesting how the draft guide is going out there saying, yeah, this guy needs to hit less. Like, be smarter, use your stick, just try to finish your checks less. If that's not an indicator as to how often this guy goes out there and just tries to physically impose himself in games, I don't know what else would be. After getting drafted in 2021, Simoneau spent 21-22 with the Charlottetown Islanders, posting up 86 points in 48 games played. 24 goals, 62 assists. If you go over to the points per game, Simoneau was top three in the entire QMJHL, right behind Josh Waugh and Maverick Bork. However, because he was already 20 years old, there was an opportunity to see this guy play in pro hockey. Right now, you'll see him as a member of the Canadiens 50-man roster. He's got a contract till 2025. And last season, in his first pro hockey year, Simono had 38 points in 62 games played, which really is not bad for a guy who's just coming over into pro hockey for the first time. Not to mention how his playmaking also translated well, too. 32 assists in 62 games played as a first-year pro player is definitely not bad. And if you go over to some of the scouting updates we have seen out of Simono, this is what Aaron Itovich on Dauber said. It's hard not to love Xavier Simoneau. Apart from the pure appreciation that he makes me look tall, he's such an incredibly unique archetype of a player. On paper, it's easy to become anxious about a 5'6 pro hockey player, but Simoneau definitely doesn't play like it. In the AH show with Laval last season, he won puck battles against 6'9 Curtis Douglas and won a fight against 6'5 Brett Murray. 
He is rock solid on the ice with a low center of gravity and a powerful stride. It's not impossible to say that he finds an NHL role next season, but with the Canadian surplus at forward, he will likely stay in Laval. His development will certainly be fun. This is a guy with so much bite that he was beating guys in fights and puck battles that were over a foot taller than him. You know, he's 5'6", right? But the fact that he's 183 pounds, that's really chonky for a guy who's that tall. Like, if this guy had the Marty St. Louis quads, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. And if there was some sort of an opportunity for Marty St. Louis to coach this guy, does this not seem like such a great task that St. Louis would be able to carry forward as the coach of the Habs? Not saying it's going to happen, it's more than likely that Simono stays in Laval for 23-24 and hopefully improves his pro stock as a player. However, we have seen similar trends out of the Habs over the past few years that have really paid off. Of course, we were talking about a six-round pick in 2021 that was an overager. The other guy that I wanted to talk about that also exhibited a similar sort of profile was one that we're all familiar with, Raphael Harvey Pinard. This was also a late-round draft pick by the Montreal Canadiens in the 2019 draft. He was 201st overall in the seventh round. He was an overager, drafted out of QMJHL. Not the biggest guy in the world, only 5'9", but he played like a bulldog. He would go out there and terrorize his opponents, and he had a goal-scoring touch, and he was producing points. And after a few years of doing his thing in Laval, guess what? Raphael Harvey Pinard scored 14 goals in 34 NHL games last year, and he is looking like a very good steal in the seventh round. The Habs have literally gone through this exact same development profile for an overage late round draftee out of the QMJHL who happens to be sub 5'10 before. And I'm not going to go out there and say Simono is going to exactly do the same thing, but the path so far looks very similar. In fact, let's go over onto HabsEyeOnThePrize.com because what the most recent Habs Top 25 Under 25 article goes out there and does is it talks about Simono. This is written by Anton Resgard from earlier last week, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read it. Simono is listed as the 30th best prospect in the Habs system, which is admittedly kind of low, but you could understand why he's not higher up there. The article says this, Lil Nas Xavier remains in the exact same ranking as a year ago. This is despite an AHL rookie season, which could only be described as highly promising. Just as with other undersized, overage Quebecois forward Raphael Harvey Pinard, Simoneau has made impressive strides since being drafted by the Habs two years ago after being originally draft eligible. Originally signing a one-year AHL contract in July 2022, Simoneau finally became part of the official 50-man roster on March 1st, 2023, signing a two-year deal with the Habs in 23-24. There are currently no no NHL players who are below Cole Caulfield's listed height of 5'7", but Theo Fleury demonstrated for more than a decade that there can be rare exceptions for forwards who are 5'6", and can make an impact in the best of all hockey leagues. Time will tell if Simino can beat the odds and take the final step from being a quality AHLer to a full-time NHLer. His work ethic, leadership qualities, and well-rounded 200-foot game will certainly not work against him in his future endeavors. And this is why I feel... So excited to see where Xavier Simoneau is going to go. Because when it comes to almost everything you can be good at in hockey, when it comes to stride pace, his intensity, his forechecking, his defensive mind as well, Simoneau is such an all-around player that plays without any hesitation or without any fear that he can beat guys up that are over a foot taller than him, he can score a bunch of points even though he's only 5'6", and now we've got to see where he's going to go next, because he's only 22 years old. There's a lot of time here for Xavier Simoneau to eventually become an NHL player. But of course, it's difficult to project anything like that out of a six-round pick taken two years in the past. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Xavier Simoneau, the way he's developed so far? What are your thoughts on his profile? And where do you see him playing by the time 2023-2024 ends off? Do you think he gets an NHL stint? Do you think he stays the whole year in Laval? What are your thoughts? on this guy's eventual NHL path? Do you think it's possible? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99. And bye. <laughs>